What's up, YouTube? Ready to start your journey into becoming a Perry God? I'm going to show you how to quickly start your journey no matter where you are in the game. Setup takes about 20 minutes, though I recommend this to players who have explored Kalid previously and are looking for some advanced skills. Technically, you could practice parries here with the soldier within three minutes, but there's little risk and less reward. Here's how we're going to fell Margit for that great reward, and I'm not talking about a talisman pouch. My goal is for you to believe that you can achieve parry god status, and then achieve it. Let's start with the setup. Start a new game, pick the bandit class, give them a name, and pick the crimson amber medallion for the keepsake. Exit the prologue as quickly as possible, Head to Gatefront Grace and get torn from Melina. Head south for the map and continue on the road east to Third Church of America. Pick up the Grace Sacred Tear in Physic. Head north and turn east to warp to Kalid by portal from behind the church. Now we ride south towards Fort Ferreth. Grab the Golden Seed and any graces just in case. After the bridge, near the graveyard, head west and use the wind currents to jump to the fort's level. After the grace, challenge the dragon, and by two-handing, you avoid this kickback. And after five minutes, you'll be done. Head back to the grace for levels. Exit the offer to go to the round table and level up only vigor and save 600 runes. If you picked up the Mistwood Outskirts Grace, ride east to the map. Otherwise, head south from Church of America. Continue south down the road, turn left for the merchant and purchase the riveted wooden shield for small shield parry. Warp to gate front, ride north to the Castle Ward Tunnel, grab the Golden Seed and continue up the road towards the castle. Make sure to upgrade the flasks and distribute them all to healing. Equip the small shield so you can switch between it and the buckler shield. Enter the fight, and we begin the trials. First off, try sticking to Margit like glue. You want to be up close and in front. Don't bother attacking right now. This is about practicing parries and learning the skill. This also helps reduce the frustration of dying to Margit. Plan to lose because it's part of the process. See how many parries you can get before a death. Sometimes, counting the parries out is helpful for focusing, but not if it's making you anxious. One reason I love this fight is that Margit telegraphs his swings really well, except for the quick upper slash. You wanna parry as soon as his arm starts swinging forward. If you find you're parrying too early, Use the small shield as it has a longer startup. This is my favorite for Margit. Late prairiers should try the buckler as it's quicker. Choose one and don't keep switching back and forth. Don't worry about dodging the unparryable holy knife attacks at first. This is why we have health. We are purposefully reducing the complexities and the health is going to afford us more times per attempt. Once you can successfully parry 9 out of 10 attacks with either or both shields, start mixing in new skills like dodging the holy knife attacks. Then throw in some attacks between parries. Parry and attack, parry charge attack, experiment. Be sure to stop attacking before Margit fully recovers. Be ready. Try to get an attack in before the repost. You get a parry, strong attack, and then repost. The timing window is short, and therefore it's a bit tricky, but it's definitely possible. Inevitably, you'll find yourself in second phase. Now start practicing the hammer parry. It's earlier than you may think. You're almost ready to continue to mastery. However, without the mindset in the next section, you may find that victory is just within reach, and then mistakes will happen. This ever happened to you? No, I was so close. We need to develop the correct mindset. 
By the way, if you like in the video right now, be sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. All right, the mindset. If you find yourself getting frustrated, take a break. I spent hours just pairing Margit for the first time, focusing on success and fun. I really want to emphasize this. Don't worry about winning. Know you can do this and cast away any doubt. Just focus on executing the skills. Victory will happen naturally upon good executions. Too many times we see the goal in sight and we focus on that rather than the skills. We get sloppy, we fail easy executions, we start doubting, we change our winning strategy to a losing one. We get anxious because we're so close to winning, losing focus and forgetting that victory comes easily when attention and practiced skills align. Focus on excellence, those good parries, good attacks and good dodges. The execution. After some time, maybe you'll achieve a flawless first phase. Then you'll start making mistakes second phase. That's okay. Let it go. Keep up the execution. Focus on the fight in front of you, not the past or the future. If you make a mistake, recognize it. Correct it next time. Practice, practice, practice your execution. For those that are willing to take it to the next level, Try starting as a bandit or samurai class and go straight to Margit. I plan to do this myself, and when we get it done, I'll post a link to the video. Want to be a grandmaster? Flawlessly or no hit run, Margit. If you did any of these challenges, let us know how long they took you. But be sure to do these after first completion. No sense rushing in and trying to do this the first time. That will probably lead to a lot of frustration. A friendly reminder, it's about the journey rather than the destination. The mastery. Well, eventually the fight will naturally come to a close. Margit will be felled and honestly, I get bummed out because it was so fun. Recognize how far you've come and what you've accomplished. You did it. You beat a great boss with parry skills. You've learned the execution of timing and you're on your way to mastery. It's going to take some practice. By the way, what does your save file say for the time spent for completion? Post it in the comments. Let me know if this video was helpful to you. I hope I've inspired you to take the reins to become a Perry master. Like and subscribe and a huge shout out to all the Patreon supporters. Thank you. If you're interested in more tips pertaining to self-mastery, mindset, and improving your game, check out my Patreon where I'm offering tips on how I approach these challenges and have fun doing it. Links are in the description.